Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, hitman, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock with the best. Yard! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 13 of 100 in my 100 for 100 videos. I will be conducting 100 videos in 100 days. So I want to personally thank you for joining me on this journey. It is not the easiest. I'm going to let you know right now. There are days that go by I do not want to make a effing video. But I must do it in order to stay consistent and create massive action and massive change to get out of my comfort zone. So let's talk about how to shatter that glass ceiling as an entrepreneur. Now, as an entrepreneur, a lot of times we tend to put our own ceiling, our own corporate ceiling over our own heads. Because what happens is we set goals for ourselves, right? And as setting goals for ourselves, we don't realize that we're actually setting a ceiling, right? So in your business, you may say like my buddy Londo owns a limo business. He may say, hey, I want to do 20 rides a day, right? Or I want to generate $5,000 a day not realizing that he is actually setting a ceiling over his own head. So the very thing that you're running away from corporate America, you're actually inherently doing it to yourself. You're self-sabotaging yourself. So what I'm going to uh, share with you guys today is how to shatter and destroy that glass ceiling. And this episode has been inspired by Michelle Mo Mobile Notary in Gary, Indiana. So shout out to Michelle no Notary in Indiana. She actually does the whole Indiana. So shout out to Michelle on that. So here it is. What you need to do is, it's very simple. If your goal is 5,000 to do a day, simply bump it up to 10,000. That's it. Double it. What happens is when you double your numbers like that, you begin to have actualization of, oh shit, I can't do this by myself. A lot of times when your numbers are big enough like that, you start to realize that you cannot do it by yourself. You're probably going to have to hire a staff. Maybe you won't have time to create your own graphics like you want to, you're going to have to outsource that. I'm going to have to look for, you know, graphic designers. I'm going to have to find somebody to answer the phone because that goal is no longer a personal goal is more of a goal that is not easily attainable by you. It forces you to think outside of your comfort zone. So a very simple way. Now, again, you are still giving yourself a glass ceiling, the human mind, let's just say, okay, I'll give you an example, right? If you ever ran on a treadmill and you said to yourself, I'm going to do 10 minutes on that treadmill, right? The first seven to eight minutes, you are, you good. You good on that treadmill, right? You got to, you have a towel over the timer, so you don't get distracted. You're, you're, you're focused on whatever. You're looking at a wall or a television and shit. But for some reason, around the eighth, ninth minute, you become deathly exhausted. Like, oh, I can't breathe. I got to stop. I got to stop before I fucking collapse. Somebody's going to have to send the paramedics to fucking rescue me off this treadmill. I can't do this last two minutes on the treadmill psychologically that happens as an entrepreneur in your goals. Also, you may set a goal at for $5,000 to do a day. 
But mentally, around maybe 3,500, 4,000, you start to slow down. You start to psych yourself out and say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to have enough time. I can't return these phone calls. And sh so what you need to do is set a higher bar. So now that your bar changed from $5,000 to $10,000, you'll see how quickly you blow through that $5,000. Now the $5,000 is no longer an issue. It's no longer an issue to hit that mark. The new issue is, how do I get it closer to the 10,000? Now you start doing eight, 9,000. Now keep in mind, you never, you're never going to hit that $10,000 mark either. So, but what your goal is to get as close to the $10,000 mark to the point where you need to now bump it up to 20,000. Now you bumped it up to 20,000. Now obtaining the $10,000 dollar mark is more reachable and obtainable and your mind starts to trigger a whole new paradigm of solutions and troubleshooting. So I hope this helps out. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, video again was inspired by Michelle, mobile notary in Indiana. Thank you for that question. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely shout out and let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to Katrina, Teresa, Bridget, AJ. Peace and love to all you guys. Get that croissant, baby. Peace.